Hey guys, Ian Madcraft here, and I'm going to be showing you some basic redstone. So, I'm just going to sh show it off right off the bat, so let's get started. Now here I'm going to show you some basic redstone trigger mechanisms. First I'm going to show you the tripwire. Tripwires are useful for traps, you just put, place the tripwire hooks on the walls, and place string on the ground as the tripwire itself. So, I will demonstrate the giving off a redstone pulse by hooking it up to a piston. So as you see, if I walk over it, it powers the piston. Very simple to use, very effective. Now I'll show you a lever. A lever is actually very useful because it can be placed on a wall, and it can also be placed on the um, top of a block, so on like floors, and it can be placed on the bottom of a block, like ceilings. I'll just show you here, and ta-da. So, red, uh, lever is pretty straightforward. If you flip it down, it will be on, powering any redstone near it. And if it's off, it, and in a position, it will power any redstone. It won't power any redstone, I mean. So, I'll just demonstrate that here. See? Very easy, also very effective. Now, here are some pressure plates. A uh, stone pressure plate is only activated by a player, as you can see. And if you use a wood pressure plate, actually. So if I put a wood pressure plate here, it will be triggered by items. So if I put a stone pressure plate there and try to throw an item on it, it won't be activated. Here are buttons. A stone button and a wooden button. They both work similar. They give off a short pulse. And um, it only gives... Well, if you use the wood button, it actually gives off a longer, slightly longer pulse. So the piston will stay up to slightly longer than a stone button. So if you pay attention to the times they go down, it's slightly different. Here's the basic redstone wire. It goes 15 blocks, and then it cuts off. As you see, it gets slightly duller and duller, and then it just gets black. Like if you were just to place redstone without any power. So if I were to place uh, something as a door here, uh, uh, like... Right after it goes black, it won't be triggered by the redstone, as you can see here. So the way to solve this is a redstone repeater. As you can see, I put one up there where it cuts off, and then I can power up more than 15 blocks. Repeaters can also act as the layers, which you can set the time to delay for for a couple ticks. And if you put them in a line, they delay it quite a bit, so it can be used for uh, some mechanisms such as a timer. And as you can see, it turns off slowly, too. Now, I will be sh say if you want a piston to be up, and when you actually press the button, it will be down. It will go down temporarily. Uh, you might wonder how to do this. It's actually very, very simple. It only requires one piece of redstone, like um, the re regular redstone wire. So, if I just set up a basic, uh, regular thing here with one redstone wire, it will go up whenever it's pressed. But if I actually put a redstone torch on the side of the block with a button, it will be up whenever I press the button, it will go down. Cause that works because the redstone torch is on when it's not powered, and when it is uh, powered, it actually turns off, as you can see here. So this makes it possible for a thing called vertical wiring, which I will show you here. This is vertical wiring. It basically works by a uh, redstone torch on the bottom being turned off by the power, which turns the one above it on, which turns the one above that off, etc, etc. Easy vertical wiring. Very little delay, and it's very easy to set up. And it's also useful for making traps such as falling sand. Here's the regular piston. It only pushes up to 15 blocks, I believe. And, um, yeah, see, if it's more than 15 blocks, they won't be pushed. A sticky piston actually uh, pushes and retracts the block instead of like a regular uh, piston where it just pushes the block. It's useful for like hidden doors and stuff. This is a dispenser. If you put a projectile in the dispenser, it will actually shoot the projectile such as if you threw it or shot it. Like an arrow. It will be shot out of the dispenser like if you were to shoot it with a bone arrow. So I'll just put it in here and as you can see it shoots. If I put an item in there, it just drops it out. Very useful for traps. 
Here's a redstone lamp. Very, very straightforward. If it's powered, it's on and gives off a good bright light radius. Very easy. So, I'll be going now, guys. This is EmadCraft. Like, subscribe, share this video. Peace out. See you guys later.